on on Monday and he ignored me. And this is the second time I've I've reached out to him. When the dolly came, they it it um the um, adjusting tool I paid for twenty goddamn dollars and he didn't send it to me and he never he never sent it to me. So I figure okay, I've had enough of this shit. So I go on to um, his uh, Google, you know, you know, when you search a, a Google, Google comments, and all I said was, they left, they ref the dolly broke the first day of the first trip, and they refuse to help me, and they're leaving me stranded. Well, then I got onto his uh, YouTube um, uh, a page. And I, uh, he's got a, uh, he's got a clip of how to do the dolly. So I left it there. I left it someplace else that I, uh, I can't think of. Hold on, I'm going to order here. Okay, so um, I, I don't flame them. I don't call them assholes. I just say, this is what happened to me, and you may want to do business with more honorable people well i send it about four o'clock in the morning and i wake up at nine because again my sleep is all screwed up and i check my facebook and i ch and look out dude come on and there's a mess uh, there's an answer email us please asap so i take the pictures i give them the order number and my mail is incredibly slow, um, my Yahoo. I got terrible internet up here. So, um, so um, I, I email them and I put it also on Facebook as an answer. Well, a little while uh, later, my phone rings and it's her mind. God almighty, funny how that works. Now, I don't yell and scream, and I don't act like an asshole, though I have every right to. I just explain, you know, I, I need some help, I'm stranded, and he says he'll send me the entire assembly, both sides. I said, you know, I've got one bolt, and the other one is on Interstate 5, somewhere in Oregon. Now, it didn't occur to me that the pins are bad, like I talked about in the other clip. Hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay here. Anyway, Armand says, I mean, I'm nice. I'm not saying, you know, why, you know, anything about why he's an asshole. But look out. You mean you might? He's, um, he's, uh, he's going to send me both assemblies overnight. So we'll see. And then I got to thinking, well, if the pins are bad, what the hell good are the whole assembly? I didn't think about it at the time, of course, but, and then I think, well, he's not going to send it assembled because I'm not going to be able to get it on the, on the dolly frame. So I'm not going to use his shitty pins. I'm going to use the stainless steel pins that I have that are not, uh, that are better, but today... I'm going to order some um, uh, uh, titanium um, uh, bolts, and that should resolve it. So, we'll see if they screw me or not, but I'm telling you, I was going to go down there. If I didn't hear from him today, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was uh, parking the RV here at the RV park for another week. Here. And I was driving down to Santa Fe Springs and we were going to have a little face-to-face -face conversation that was not going to be pleasant for him. It's going to be great for me. So we'll see if they, uh, if they fuck me or not. But... Good boy. So, we're going to go to Montague, I've been there before, and 
we're gonna go again. So, we'll see what's next. Now, right here in front, where these uh, four or five RVs are, that's our ranch. And my my fam, my my uh, bro, uh, Jimmy B. Um, um, hold on here. Let me uh, address the dog. Come here, little dude. Hold on. Okay, buddy. Come on. There you go. Oh, look out. Okay. Hold on. There you go. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Let me get a, uh, a little bit uh, better shot of this. This is our ranch. And in one of the big fires up here, um, everything burned down. And they are now having camping again. Um, I've stayed here twice with Jimmy B. Uh, Jimmy said that I was the only guy from the Mercury that he ever brought up here. God love him. And uh, I stayed here by myself. Um, not, uh, I stayed here with him when I w uh, was in between uh, wives. And then uh, uh, right before Marie and I uh, got back together. And then Marie and I stayed here uh, for a week, one year with Jimmy as well. This is never a good sound. So we're going to drive through Hornbrook, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. I'm an idiot, so I didn't say so. So anyway, um, at the beginning of the clip, I uh, this is now last week, uh, Thursday, uh, I noticed that driving through Rose, uh, just outside of uh, Roseburg, heading south on I-5 that um, I was overheating. So I pulled off and um, I pulled off and uh, I uh, it took a Good Sam, which I wish there was a better road service than Good Sam because they're terrible. I was on the road or on the side of the highway for about four or four and a half hours until I finally got off the off the freeway. Um, I had a tow to a place where our good Sam assured me they would see me first thing in the morning and they saw me in the afternoon and it was that leaky uh, EGR uh, hose of, um, um, for, uh, with the coolant. So they fixed the hose, they restored all the coolant, I got new coolant and it was under $400. They fixed it Friday. I stayed there Saturday and I left Sun. I stayed in their lot Saturday and I left Sunday. And then Sunday I drove to, um, to, um, to, um, God damn. Uh, I drove to Canyondale because I didn't feel real good. And then, well, Wairika and all that. So, we're in Hornbrook right here, which used to be on the Pacific Highway. And I'm fairly sure, but not positive, that this is the old Pacific Highway US 99. But I'm not positive, but I think so. So anyway, uh, Jimmy had said the last time I, I, I was here, 
and the time before too, that there used to be a, a, a restaurant and the post office is uh, like uh, this this uh, Rodeo Rose used to be open, and the post office is uh, I didn't burn down. So uh, I don't think the fire quite got into town, but certainly our ranch uh, uh, suffered catastrophic damage. So we're driving through Hornbrook here, and then we're going to head east along what I think is the Shasta River, and we will uh, we'll enjoy some scenery. We're on Copco Road. I think the dam, Iron Gate Dam, is uh, down here. So we're going to turn east here on the county road. I don't know what the county road is. It is Copco Road. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this guy by me. Hold on.